Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are talking about the new moon in Leo, and we're just keeping it really simple, fam, for this vid. We're literally just going to discuss what it means to have a new moon and in the sign of Leo in this video and the, probably the next video I do because the new moon's happening tomorrow on Wednesday is going to be covering a little more extensively some of the transits and what you can expect. But today, let's just keep it short and sweet and really look at the essence of what is happening in the heavens, okay? Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you if you are a subscriber because I do put out daily drops of wisdom every single day. So be here for it because I'm here for you, okay? Okay. Now, before I jump into it, I'm offering readings at a sliding scale right now if you need it. Um, I've been doing uh, of quite a few readings lately and it feels really great to be helping people access and just like... Uh, understand their soul's evolution and their soul's journey so it's really cool I want you to be a part of that if you want that for yourself and I don't want price to be a hindrance if you're somebody who watches these videos and is like really into this stuff so reach out to me at wisdomdrops at gmail.com if you need a scholarship it's available if not hey great that's awesome too also, I'm offering, lastly, an astrology course program. It's going to be amazing. I'm really pumped about it. It's the shit, which is why my cat is in the litter box. Okay, <laughs> so wisdomdrops at gmail.com if you need that. Now, moving forward, a new moon is a new beginning. A new moon is the initiation of um, a new cycle for four weeks out from the event itself. So a new moon is therefore an opportunity because it's the divine mother the moon and the divine father, the sun, in union in the heavens together. They're on top of each other. That's what makes a new moon. That's why the moon is dark when it's a new moon. The sun's light is not able to illuminate it during a new moon. So it's like a fertility notion. It's kind of like um, an egg and a sperm, you know, in a lot of ways. It's the celestial egg and sperm because it's a new beginning and it allows you to ripen things for four weeks throughout, you know, that duration until there's another new moon. Now, what does it mean to be in Leo? Great question. Leo is the romantic. Leo is the big, the bold, the beautiful, the glitzy, the glamour, the golden, glittering, shiny goddess, god, divine um, source. And, you know, it's ruled by the sun which is the divine father, the divine essence of knowledge, okay, in us all, regardless of gender. So there's that. Um, it's pretty intense. I'm getting goosebumps and like feeling really happy thinking about it because a new moon in Leo is fun. A new moon in Leo is about enjoyment. It's about expression, romantic expression. It's about heartfelt expression. And it's about... Um, you know, hobbies and and things that you do for fun. So like performance energy, if you're a vocalist or anybody who's like really into just performing arts, whether it's dance or whatever your ish is, this is your new moon. So be prepared to shine, baby. Cast your intentions, do your magic. Um, you know, it's happening this Wednesday, tomorrow after I post this. So you can cast those intentions for the next few days, friend. Um, that moon is waxing, okay, after Wednesday, so it's growing whatever you're casting, like, expandiamus, onto it. So, I hope this brought you value. If it did, hit the like button. Uh, let me know in a comment down below what you're putting your intentions for for this new moon in Leo. And with that said, my friend, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.